there happy sunday to you and welcome to the review of open heavens daily devotional for 18th august 2024 our topic today is under your feet under your feet we have two bible texts we have mark chapter 16 from verse 16 to 18 and ephesians 1 18 to 23 mark 16 16 to 18 and ephesians 1 18 to 23 i read both from the new king james version mark 16 16 to 18 it says he who believes and is baptized will be saved but he who does not believe will be condemned and these signs will follow those who believe in my name they will cast out demons they will speak with new tongues they will take up serpents and if they drink anything deadly it will by no means hurt them they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover remember our topic for today under your feet and verse 18 of mark chapter 16 that i just read says they will take up serpents and if they drink no means hurt them and this means that poison are under your feet or poisons are under your feet serpents their venom is under your feet i hope someone is saying amen to that amen in the name of jesus ephesians 1 18 to 23 our second bible text from the new king james version it says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in that which is to come and he put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church which is his body and the fullness of him who fills all in all praise the lord and we see in ephesians chapter 1 from verse 18 to 23 that i just read that in verse 20 the bible speaks of a power the exceeding great power that is working in the lord jesus or that was at work in the lord jesus when god raised jesus from the dead and after jesus was raised from the dead he was set to sit at the right hand of god in heavenly places then when you now look at verse 22 and 23 ephesians 1 22 and 23 he says and he puts all things under his feet he is being jesus so everything is under the feet of jesus and gave him that is he gave jesus to be head over all things to the church when you and I are part of the body of Christ, we're part of the church. Verse 23 now says, the head which is his body, the fullness of him. If you and I are part of the body of Christ and we are with Christ, Christ being the head. And Christ, according to the verse 20 that we read, is seated at the right hand of the Father. The Bible records in verse 22 that all things have been put under his feet and that tells me that all things that are under the feet of jesus are under my feet are under your feet as well praise the lord uh memory verse for today is from ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 and it says and had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in christ jesus praise the lord all of this is already done the access to this heavenly throne to this high exalted seat seated in christ seated with christ this access has been given to us already by what jesus christ did he died and rose from the dead and ascended into heaven seated at the right hand of god we now becoming part of this body are seated with him gloriously 
this is supposed to bring you so much joy so much excitement so much confidence in your spirit to step out and do what is required to do the devil has got nothing on you because he's got nothing on jesus except of course you're still toiling in sin and this is the moment where you repent and you take your rightful place with christ in god seated at the right hand of the father in today's devotional daddy geo shared a story about a man in his village many years ago whose name was kaka k-a-k-a -A, and the man was an occultist was the leader of the occultists in his village and they were going to set up you know a, a, an rccg parish and that was very long ago when pa akindayomi was still alive and he said that the particular place or the parish, the place where they found to set up the first RCCG parish in his village was really close to Kaka's house. And by the time, you know, the sermon was preached by Parke Daomi and all of that, he was surprised to see that when Parke Daomi made the altar call, this occultist, you know, walked out and gave his life to Christ. And after that was over, perhaps, you know, the evening or the next day, you know, Kaka came by to meet Parking Diomi to say, okay, um, you already, I heard how you spoke. So it means that this, your God must be quite powerful. And Papa said, yes, of course, that he is very, very powerful. And Kaka said, in that case, he needed, you know, him to come and help him with a particular effigy that was in his house. And he said that that idol, you know, was called Shigidi. And that it was so powerful that, you know, they had handed that particular idol from generation to generation in his own family. And that they had to set him loose or something like that once a day to go and kill someone. And for every time he's returning, they have to be awake. They can't sleep until they come, it comes back. I mean, they don't even know how long it will be gone for. And then when it comes back, they must kill a ram. And according to the story, he would have to, you know, step on the blood of the ram, drink it, and then return to its position to become an ordinary effigy, you know, uh, like everybody could see. So that thing that just looked static or wooden or stone frame or whatever it was made from, you know, became alive at night and went to wreak havoc. So this man was afraid. I mean, after giving his life to Christ, I said, well, I don't want to throw him away. I don't want to get into trouble. And then the story had it that Pa Akindayomi sent Daddy Gio to go and, you know, get rid of the effigy. He said he, he, he took uh, well, alongside him, you know, one of the strong prayer warriors in church and all of that, who, when he saw, you know, the, 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 the thing with all the blood and charms and all of the things that were upon it, and the man ran away. But he said he sent a simple prayer, you know, broke the effigy into pieces, took all of the things that were in the shrine, everything, destroyed the shrine, poured everything into the river and all. But this man, of course, because it was in Daddy Gio's village, Kaka knew who uh, Daddy Gio was and you know, felt really sorry that he was the one that was being sent. Perhaps he thought, oh, maybe they sent you because, I mean, you are, uh, whatever reason, he must have thought. And then the story had it that three weeks after, Daddy Gio returned to the village to visit Kaka at his home. And Kaka was surprised to see that it was a life that was so shocked. And they believed that you know, something would have happened, the, 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 uh, the, the spirit behind that idol would have gone to kill or something. That's what he thought or assumed. But we have that power, that authority seated with Christ. Uh, you no know, principalities and powers and demons idols or whatever this power in them is under our feet because we stand in the authority of Jesus. This story happened as far back as 1975 and Daddy is still alive and well almost 50 years after. Praise the Lord. That is the power that we have in Christ. I keep one today says never ever be afraid of demons that you can trample under your feet. Remember what our memory verse said, Ephesians 2 6 says he had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. 
glory to God. I just want you to go with that confidence, with that joy in your heart that nothing can hold you down. Everything is under your feet. You trample over every demon, every action of the enemy, every scheme of the devil. You rise above it because that is where Christ has placed you. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Thank you for the authority we have in Christ. Thank you for the positioning that we have in Christ. Thank you because we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Thank you because serpents, demons, principalities, powers, they are under our feet and we trample upon them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for assured victory. Oh, we give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen.